Hey everybody, it's uh, Friday and today's topic is to share your personal story. So if I share my personal story, I'd probably be talking for a really, 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 really long time. I'm going to just hit some of the things that I've experienced in the last few years and maybe something that I can share to help someone else. Prior to working for T-Mobile, I peeped the culture. I really appreciated how not just in hashtags or in shirts, but they allow their employees to be themselves. Most of you in this area know um, I am a gay black female. Before you know I'm gay, you know I'm black, you know I'm a female. I've been in the wireless industry since 2007. No, I don't look my age. And I've experienced a lot. I recently in at work have been able to fully be me as in a gay black female. Um, quite recently, in the last few weeks, I've been able to be vocal about certain situations that I've experienced. But as it comes to me being me, just do it. It's free, especially if you work for T-Mobile. You have the space to be yourself on adulterated. Obviously, follow HR guidelines. But you're not going to be fired for who you are, you can dye your hair rainbow color, you can dye your hair purple, blue, whatever, whatever. You can have face, face piercings, you can have tattoos, you can be yourself. Um, that to me has allowed me to be creative in ways that um, have helped me to grow. I, from a young age, have been very analytical, um, very logical, very creative, and in the right space, I can come up with ideas faster than most. And prior to working for T-Mobile, I was a trainer and loved the jobs, was able to train people on products. I was able to grasp you know, the information quick, be able to build those relationships and help other people. Um, but when it came to like authentically being me, couldn't do it. Not because I couldn't do it, but I would get a certain call sometimes about maybe something that I posted online or, you know, I just didn't feel comfortable to talk about my girlfriend at the time and it just didn't feel good. But once I got into T-Mobile, I was able to be me, uh, be you. I just want to help drive home the thought that don't feel like you have to hide behind who you are. If you work at T-Mobile, use this as a time to not only meet whatever goals you have for your job, but to become a better person. And maybe you're not struggling with your identity or you're not struggling with, you know, who you are, what you want, and things like that. Maybe you are an ally. Maybe it means that you're picking up a book or having more conversations. I'm having those difficult conversations, not only for the black community, but for this community as well. Um, we're used to having uh, these conversations. For me, it's been a little bit to unpack the, the black part of the difficult conversations. Um, it's been uh, free to be able to speak uh, professionally, how my experiences have uh, affected me. Uh, if you've had a tough time with your coming of yourself, you understand how it feels to be a certain way and not feel comfortable to express it. Um, that's how we've had to be uh, all my life. I never thought that life in the last three weeks, almost a month, In sharing a little piece of my personal story, I implore you to just find you. I'm still finding myself because of how, you know, sometimes you have to live in silence. You have to hurt in silence. You have to cry in silence. Not always able to share it aloud. We have those spaces now. So, 
just embrace it. And if you do have those difficult times, reach out to someone. Don't suffer alone. We all need somebody. Um, if you, if you, maybe, maybe it's someone you don't talk to all the time, but it's, it's, it's been laid on your heart to reach out to someone and make sure they're okay. You have no idea um, how much that means to people. So try it. It could be a stranger. It could be a coworker. It could be someone in a Slack chat. If you're authentic about your advances or your concerns, it goes a long way. Have a great day and thanks for listening to my TikTok.